I think it's recording. I don't get like a little click. Anyway, all right, guys. So I'm gonna we're gonna go over nested for loops, and then I'm gonna give you the review questions um, that will that will 100% help you for the quiz because each problem in the review that I'm giving you um, has a different part of the quiz. So I made the quiz question, and then I was like, okay, which questions will help you specifically with this quiz question with this quiz. So if you do the four quiz questions that I give you, you will be more than prepped for the quiz. It takes different aspects from each problem, puts them together into one problem. So, what I, real so quick? It's four questions. Quiz. No, qu quiz is one question. It's one. Code it's one code you have to write. Is it like our homework codes, like rainfall or something like that? It's uh, no, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but um, it's similar. It's going to use like a for loop. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's what we've been covering. It's going to cover. It's going to have for loops and while loops. So while loops is like while x equals. Yeah, or while x is less than five. So a nested loop is for x in range. We're going to go sixty. For y in range sixty print um, x comma min um, y comma sec. So this is a nested for loop goes through and it's going through this first loop. 60, well, let me change these numbers. Right, it's going from 0 to 59 in this loop, and it's going from 0 to 59 in this loop. But because this loop is inside of this loop, it has to fin it has to go through this loop and then it comes up here, and then it goes back into here, and then it comes up here, and then it goes back. So that's not That is enough. not a minute. That's right, it's an hour. 24 minutes and however many I seconds. Those seconds are going fast. I don't know, time flies when you're having fun. I mean, class is, you know, quarter over by now. Really? No. Um, so this is not gonna be on the quiz? Nested sure. loops will not be on this quiz, they will be in the future. future. Well, you mean the next quiz? Not necessarily, it won't be like write a nested loop, but it will be like in this loop you have to do this and then you also have to do that which requires a loop. So in one of the quizzes I used to have write the code that goes through each minute of a, each second of an hour. I mean it's like three lines, but it was part of another problem. But <coughs> you guys understand how, why this is doing what it's doing. Mm -hmm. Bradley Wait, Enoch. Why is it not, why is it counting to 60 and not 59? Or is it counting to 59? Uh, but it starts at zero. I honestly, I think it, it should be going just to 59. It shouldn't be hitting but 60. It starts at zero, too. So it's inaccurate, huh? No, it starts at zero. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, we're going to see when this finishes right here. It's already inaccurate. I mean, so it would have gone 60 minutes and zero seconds. Um, so yeah, do you, so it goes through this loop first until this loop is completed. Then it jumps out to this loop. Oh, well now I have to go back into this loop and it's then it goes through this again. Say that again? It's going to do that until the top loop is completed, which is what it just did. Exactly, until this one is completed. So it's going to iterate, that iterated 3,600 times. Because this is... 60, and then it comes up here, and this is 60. So 60 times 60 is 3,600. For this one, this is what more. This is how I would have done homework, the annual rainfall one. It would be for year in range. This is a user input, right? So if they want to do this for four years, right? We're going to 
iterate four times 12, we're gonna do this 48 times. Because that's how many months are in four that years. Quite annoying. Yeah, and again, I apologize for not going over this. I, just, I can't remember what happened. Um, but so what you would do is enter rain, and then it's one, and then you this would happen again, and it's one, and then three, and then four, and then one. There's not much rainfall in this, wherever this is. But it would then go through this, and you would get, you'd have 12 months. You would also need a total, right? So don't forget your running total plus equal rain. And then it would come back here. Once it's done with the first year, it comes back up here. Now we gotta go into year number two. And then it asks again, so one, two, or blah, 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 blah. Total plus, and then when that's done, it comes back up here, goes back into here for the third time, and blah, 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 blah. Okay. And it keeps doing that. Does yeah, that so, make sense? Yeah. But you could just do like, whatever the user inputs and then times 12, like four X in range, years times 12, and then it runs the code for every month. Yeah. Okay, that's actually, that was a clever way to work around it. That's, that's what I did. That was clever. <laughs> but, yeah, so. Are you gonna give us like a practice problem? Like a, that's like similar to what this is in the practice quiz. Those are the four problems I'm going to give you. So like today. Yeah. All right. Cool. So. Yeah. So format. All right. Well, real quick, real quick. Do you guys have any questions on nested loops, while loops, for loops, anything in chapter four, Maddie? And then what? So we're going to do this, and then. Joe, I'll answer questions like formatting or rounding or things like that, and then you guys can start working on. Um, did everyone, everyone's finished with the first chapter four review, right? All right, so there should be in class chapter four quiz review in the modules for chapter four. That's what we're working on today. So if you guys want to get started, if you feel comfortable with, um, everything you can get started on that and those four questions each one has a different aspect that's on the quiz so if you finish those four and you understand how to do everything in those quizzes in those questions you'll be more than fine on the quiz all right maddie what's up so how to do for how to get the pound sign in the in the first line, you get it. You got everything else. You couldn't get the two hashtags in the first line. Yeah, or in the second line, I couldn't get just the straight hashtag line down. Okay, um, you can do a sort of a cheat, um, which may or may not be. What you're supposed to do. <laughs> yeah. You can print hashtag, hashtag, and then do your for loops if that's easier. No, I, I couldn't get the hashtag in front for any of them. I was able to get the hashtag pattern going at the diagonal, but I couldn't get the first column for those restrictions. Let me take a look. Let me see what you got. Show me what you got. Oh, all right. Well, you do that, and I will. Uh, I'll move on to the, uh, any other questions, Enoch. Uh, so, well, maybe it's something. Oh, well, well, hey, I'm sorry. I totally skipped Joe. Joe and formatting. So, formatting. Is uh, so let's say we have x is 12, 19, 4, dot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wait, I know how to like make it like a decimal, but yeah, um, I was in trouble because it kept saying like 30 minutes to an amazing stream, but it was a string and then like amazing stream. Like, oh, were, were you printing something? Um, yeah, it was part of the So in, in an input, 
This has to be one string and nothing else. So, but you can do a string plus str of a variable plus another string. That works. You cannot have commas in here at all. Right, so you understand that. that. All right, I'll have to take a look. I'll, I'm gonna, I'll be, I'll, let me take a look at it. Enoch, did you have a question? Uh, yeah, so we'll print something. How do you make sure that, um, like if you are printing something in a for loop, then how do you make sure that the next uh, print, the next line is in the same line with the last one? So print, by definition, ends with the backslash, right? That's the default. Yeah. So if you don't rewrite, if you don't add this to your print, this is what it does. So um, how do you cancel that? Make end like that. Do you remember going over end and sep? We had sep. We had the separator and the end, and you can manip You can print it. Print. You can display objects and print um, differently. So real quick. So um, uh, one comma two. Right, so Enoch. So I'm printing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. What I can do is I can go um, print separate with a smiley face. And in between each one of them, I get this smiley face, which is what I put here. Does that make sense? You can also do. end and you can end it with hello and it ends it with this so by default if you do not put anything in end so if you don't have end at all it ends it with a backslash end for a new line which is why if you have nothing in print you just get a blank line because it defaults to that backslash n at the end of the print so if you don't want that, you just put nothing there. So this is how you would print something you, in a for loop. You print something in a loop on the same line. Yeah, that makes sense. The, the, okay. Is that it? Yeah, well, on the other hand, if you're pretty and do you have to um, leave, a, leave a blank between and then the uh, equal mark? You don't have to. I that's just how I code. Wait, what does that say? Like end equals. I just explained it. So end here. See how it ends my print function with whatever is in here. Yeah. By oh, default, okay. if you do not have this at all, if you do not put end, the default is a backslash end, so it's a new line. If you don't want that to happen in your loop, you have to add end equals quotation marks. And that will end the print line with nothing, and it won't default to a new line. It may be a little easier if I. Oh, so it won't automatically go to the next line, or it'll just stay on whatever line it's on. Right. So let me. So it's not like required or anything. Um, it's just for like looks. Well, it also it, it's required in something. So for x in range ten, print x at 5 where's my one drive uh oh oh no did you delete it I sh don't think I did what did I do <laughs> well it's there I just not why is it sinking I'm so confused, guys. Why is it sinking? Because it did water. In class, chapter four, review. So here's, see how everything's on a different line? Yeah. If I come in here, in here and I go, end is blank, it prints yeah. it on one line. 
right. I can go end with a space bar or with a space and I get spaces. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Hey. I can go sep is a colon, semicolon. Oh, now I'll separate them. Yeah. Do you guys see? Do you guys know why? Oh, I can't see. Where's my semicolon? There's nothing to separate. I don't have multiple um, values in here. I just have one. So it's there's nothing to separate, but there is something to end. So if you did, so if you did end with a semicolon, it would, would it put a semicolon between all the yeah, but see now I have two things. It separates them. Zero commas, zero colon, zero one colon, two one semi whatever semicolon whatever that is. But if I had put a semicolon here and I'll get rid of. Oops. I broke it again. I'm sorry. Hey, there we go. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, makes sense. All right, I'm going to come around and I got to answer uh, Maddie and Joseph's question. Uh, how do, where's my stop? There we go.